Prince Voldemar of Prussia. Prince Voldemar was born Joachim Friedrich Ernst Voldemar. He was born at the Crown Palace in Berlin, Kingdom of Prussia, now in Brandenburg, Germany, on the 10th of February, 1868. He was the sixth child of the Crown Prince and Princess of Prussia, Friedrich III, German Emperor, and Victoria, Princess Royal, who was the eldest child of Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom. Voldemar's birth came 20 months after the tragic death of his 21-month-old older brother, Sigismund, from meningitis, and on the 28th wedding anniversary of his maternal grandparents, Queen Victoria, and the deceased Prince Albert. Victoria was overjoyed with her new son and wrote to Fritz, quote, All the pain of labor is nothing compared to the happiness of having such a dear little creature to hold and to nurse oneself, end quote. Voldemar quickly took the place of Vicky's favorite son that had been held by his deceased brother Sigismund. Vicky hoped Voldemar would be everything that his elder brothers Wilhelm and Heinrich were not. She wrote to her mother, quote, He is such a dear child and although rather more spirited than is easy to, to manage, he is so trustworthy and honest. End quote. Voldemar reminded his grandmother, Queen Victoria, of her late husband, Prince Albert, because of Voldemar's love of animals and interest in science. He loved visiting his grandmother at her home, Osborne House, on the Isle of Wight. Voldemar collected rocks, minerals, and other specimens that his mother carefully labeled and then placed in a museum in the Swiss cottage where she had played and learned to cook as a child. During one visit, Voldemar gave his grandmother quite a scare. Queen Victoria was working on some papers in her room, and when she looked up, she saw a small crocodile staring at her. Naturally, she screamed, and all within hearing came running. Voldemar had let Bob, his crocodile, out of his box. In fits of laughter, Voldemar retrieved his crocodile, and order was restored. In February 1879, Voldemar celebrated his 11th birthday. A month later, while Fritz and Vicky were watching the children rehearse a pantomime show, Voldemar complained of a sore throat. Unfortunately, Voldemar had come down with diphtheria. Four months previously, Vicky's sister Alice and Alice's youngest child, May, had died of the same disease. Diphtheria is a serious bacterial infection affecting the mucous membranes of the nose and throat. Diphtheria typically causes a sore throat fever, swollen glands, and weakness. But the determining sign is a thick gray membrane covering the back of the throat. The membrane can block the windpipe so the patient has to struggle for breath. Today, diphtheria is extremely rare in developing countries thanks to widespread vaccination against the disease. However, before the advent of modern medicine, diphtheria could be epidemic and it often killed its victims. Vicky took all the precautions known at the time to avoid spreading the disease. She washed Voldemar with hot vinegar and water, changed his sheets and clothes, and put them in a pail of carbolic acid. While tending to him, Vicky covered her own clothing and sprayed herself with carbolic acid after she left Voldemar's room. He seemed to be approving, but on the 26th of March, 1879, at around 9 p.m., the doctor summoned Vicky to Voldemar's room. His breathing had worsened, and he died shortly after midnight. Voldemar was buried with one of Vicky's nightgowns, covering him in one of Fritz's handkerchiefs over his face. A private funeral service was held at the new palais, attended by the household staff, Voldemar's teachers, and the parents of his friends. Vicky did not attend the official funeral the next day. Voldemar was buried near his brother Sigismund at the Friedrichskeich, an English Church of Peace in Potsdam, Kingdom of Prussia, now in Brandenburg, Germany. The remains of both boys were later transferred to the Kaiser Friedrich Mausoleum at the Friedrichskeich, where Fritz and Vicky were buried. Vicky wrote of her son to Robert Naper, first Baron Naper of Magdala, quote, Ours is indeed a grief which must last a lifetime. We could hardly realize yet we have lost a darling boy who was our pride and delight, who seemed to grow daily in health and strength, in intelligence and vigor of character. We have fondly hoped he would grow up to be one used to his country and his family. We have planned and dreamt of a bright and useful future for him. He has missed every hour of the day and the house has lost half its life." End quote. 